Federer sends one upstairs after a battle. He can smile now. And now he can say, yeah, well played, Fabrice. I don't believe it. That was some match. Stay with us. We're going to hear from these gentlemen in a moment. So two matches down, five to go for the man we mentioned. No one has ever in the Open Era won Wimbledon in the U.S. Open consecutively in back-to-back -back years. Several players, including my partner here, have done it twice, but not in consecutive years. Well, you, you hit the nail on the head, though, Ted, a, a minute ago, that this, the players should watch this and, and get inspired from it. And look at all the people that are still here waiting just to hear these two, uh, hopefully, Fabrice talk, too. He can come out, and then Roger. This is, this is really yeah. uh, when you, it's fun to be part of. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with tennis when you see this. Yeah. Let's go down to Michael right now. Let's bring them both out. I like that, Michael. Michael, it's all yours. All right, Johnny Mac. Thank you very much. A big hand for Roger Federer and Fabrice Santoro. Roger, we get to you in a second. You're the defending champion. Let me just say, because this guy was, he's called the magician. He was amazing tonight. Can you teach us how to do those shots? Well, you know, I just tried my best tonight. I mean, it's, I was very nervous before the match because I know that uh, against Roger, if you play a little bit under your level, it's over in one hour. So um, I was very nervous before the match, but I think I can't play better than I did tonight. What's the most... What's the most difficult part about playing Roger? <laughs> Everything, you know? Everything is tough. You know, I, I was so happy to play a tiebreak in the third set, and after two minutes, I watched the score. It was 6 0 for him, and I was. <laughs> I was so down. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. Thank you for playing. Thank you for those magical. Thank moments. you to everybody. Thanks a lot. Fabrice Santoro. Now we get to the defending champion. Boy, they call him the magician. He was he was tough, right? Oh, absolutely. It's I always enjoy playing against me against him. He he gave me a lesson the first time we played. You know, he he sizzled me up with his slice and his spins, and uh, and it's always a pleasure to play against him because it's just so different. You know, so we had a great match, like I announced him. What's always been amazing to me is how relaxed you are before you come out here. We, we spoke before you came out. And you said, oh, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of nerves, but I'm pretty relaxed. How can you do that? Well, what's the point to be too much into it? You know, you can't play otherwise. Uh, when you're nervous, it's, it's very difficult. This is electrifying here at night, and I try to look at this like it's cool, you know. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, obviously, I would like to have some more here at night. I think that will happen. Were some of his shots just crazy? You were laughing at some of them. Well, obviously, but I knew they were coming. <laughs> so it's only uh, a time until they come along. And uh, I really enjoyed it once more against Fabrice. And it's because of him, obviously, and because of me that the match was so great. So looking forward to the ma next match. And that is... That's Olivier Rokas. And you played him a couple of weeks ago and, and handled him. What do you expect from him? Well, he's a good friend of mine, we're the same age, we play junior doubles together, so we know each other since about 10 years already, and uh, it's definitely going to be a very fair match, he's got great technique, one of the best on the tour, and uh, I hope we can have a, a good match, you know, hope I can walk away as a winner, but we never know till the match is played. <laughs> Roger, thank you very much, congratulations. Roger Federer, the defending champion. See, Tony yeah. stayed around. Tony Bennett, he loves the tennis. Is that how good these two guys are? He came here for the beginning. I saw him at 6.30, quarter seven. He's here to the better end. You gotta love Tony. Well, don't forget, tomorrow, CBS will begin their coverage at 11 a.m. Eastern. We're back with you at 7 p.m. Eastern prime time at the U.S. Open presented by American Express. It will feature Lindsey Davenport and then Robbie Ginepri and Tommy Hawks. Law & Order SVU next on USA.
Now for John McEnroe and all of us at USA Sports, Ted Robinson, thanks for being with us, and good night from New York.